Welcome and thank you for tuning in to episode number 13 of 10 Tesla Topics, your show for Tesla-related news, rumors, and stories. My name is Max Maurice, and today's show is for Tuesday, March 7th, 2017. Topics discussed today are the following. Tesla tripled their sales in China, an important Model 3 date, a Model S on fire, literally, is a Tesla faster at 10% battery or 100%, and Remac and their new beast. Topic number one comes from Electric. So it's safe to say that Tesla had quite a rough start when it started selling cars uh, in China in 2014, uh, to say the least, really. Uh, Multiple delays and bad awareness on charging options resulted in poor sales that went all the way into 2015. But in its latest SEC filling, Tesla confirmed that things change in 2016 by tripling their sales to over $1 billion in revenue last year. Well, little backtrack here, Tesla actually sold fewer vehicles in its first full year of deliveries in the country, uh, which was in 2015, which, with uh, $318 million in sales uh, than during its first year of deliveries, which was in 2014, with $477 million, uh, which was just half a year. But with hundreds of superchargers and thousands of destination chargers later, uh, and with the help of the government also heavily investing in the charging infrastructure, Tesla managed to change the perception of charging uh, electric vehicles in China. However, the U.S. still remains Tesla's most important market uh, by far, with $4.2 billion out of a total $7 billion in revenue in 2016. Topic number two comes from Tesla Roddy. So possible Model 3 information was revealed through Tesla's Project Love Day contest, which is the uh, commercial contest that I talked about in episode 12, topic four. Well, it suggests that the part three event for the Model 3 could take place on Friday, June 2nd, or roughly around that time. So according to the terms and conditions outlined in Tesla's newest contest to select the best fan-made commercial, the grand prize winner, quote, will be invited uh, to and introduced at a future Tesla product launch event. But more importantly, uh, Tesla reveals that the grand prize must be claimed by June 2nd, 2017, which could mean that the Model 3 event could take place that very Friday. And with Tesla expecting to begin Model 3 production in July, that date could make sense. And once again, they expect to produce 1,000 vehicles per week uh, beginning in July before ramping up to 5,000 cars produced per week during the fourth quarter. Topic number three comes from Electric, and it's quite a lit topic. Uh, Not in the sense that the cool young uh, people use uh, lit in this case. Uh, Very unfortunately, I shouldn't be laughing about this, but uh, there is a fire. So a Tesla Model S caught on fire at the Jingqiao uh, supercharger station in Shanghai, China. Uh, The car apparently wasn't charging at the time, even though it was at a supercharger. Uh, Tesla launched a full investigation, of course, into the incident. Electrek reached out to Tesla about the fire, and Tesla could only confirm that no one was harmed, uh, thankfully, uh, but they are still investigating. And at this point, it's not clear if the fire started from the vehicle itself uh, or if it was something inside the car, maybe like a lighter or something. Uh, But the main vehicle affected uh, was a Model S P85 and another vehicle at the charging station right next to it uh, was also damaged. Uh, As you can see from the pictures here, it's, it's not too pretty to look at. However, I guess if you could consider this good news, uh, out of the close to 200,000 vehicles uh, on the Tesla vehicles on the road today, uh, there are only a couple instances of Teslas uh, catching on fire uh, without a crash or external cause. So just a couple. So in January 2016, a Model S in Norway caught on fire while charging at a supercharger. Uh, Tesla determined that the cause was a short circuit, but it didn't know why it happened. Another instance happened in August 2016 when a Tesla Model S caught on fire during a test drive event in France. Uh, That must have been quite the test drive experience for that. Uh, I can't remember if it was a a guy or a girl, but anyways, uh, that was quite the test drive. Uh, But anyways, Tesla tracked down the issue to an electrical connection improperly tightened uh, by a human instead of robots. But anyways, as the days go by, uh, we'll know more about this case, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned uh, for more info on this incident. 
Topic number four is a little bit of a mix between Tesla Roddy and a YouTube video. Uh, so Brooks from Drag Times on YouTube tested out a little experiment with his Tesla Model S P100D. He started out with a 10% battery charge, a state most owners will never really typical, typically see. Um, he even mentions it in the video uh, that with his usage, he's always driving with uh, around 70-ish percent. So uh, forget all of those range anxiety myths. So yeah, so at 10%, uh, Brooks noted that launch control was not available or ludicrous uh, plus mode. Uh, but anyways, here's the full list of the results that Brooks uh, was able to achieve. Uh, of course, these are just numbers. Uh, to me, numbers, uh, I mean, in this case, are a little exciting, but I mean, it's a little more exciting to see how he got those numbers. So I encourage you to watch the full video. Uh, link will be in the description. But it's also worth noting that the decrease in performance at lower charges is not from software limiting uh, algorithms that Tesla used to have. Uh, it's just a function of battery current and voltage uh, that can be attained at various states of charge, uh, which result, of course, in power output to the electric motors. Topic number five comes from electric, and it's, I guess, technically not exactly a 100% Tesla related. Uh, so if you're an absolute Tesla fanboy and you don't want to hear anything else from any other companies, uh, you could just, I guess, uh, leave this video and come back next Saturday for the next show. Uh, but so all electric hypercar maker Remac is at the Geneva Motor Show and presented their latest version of the Concept One, as well as uh, an announcement to uh, their new plan, if you will, to distribute deals in Europe, the Middle East, and the USA. So the 2018 uh, model year of the Concept One features an upgraded powertrain that makes it already or the already incredible performance, really like insane performance, uh, even more impressive. So the main uh, upgrade is a new battery pack with the capacity of 90 kilowatt hours uh, versus the previous 82 kilowatt hours. And in, in addition to other powertrain improvements, the company's torque vectoring system can really make use of the extra power to significantly increase performance. Quote, numerous developments in the powertrain, battery system, and electronics enabled Remac Automobility no, Automobili, sorry, uh, to boost its flagship's performance. The power increased by 100 kilowatts to a total of 900 kilowatt uh, per one, or 1,224 horsepower, which enables the Concept One to reach 100 kilometers an hour in 2.5 seconds and 60 miles an hour in 2.4 seconds. 200 kilometers an hour are reached in 6 seconds, while the 300 kilometers an hour marks uh, falls uh, after just 14 seconds. Like that, those are insane numbers. So while the performance is staggering, Remac Automobili's uh, torque vectoring system is being constantly developed and upgraded to keep the power under control, accessible, and fun. By controlling each motor, and thus the wheel, very precisely 100 times per second, the Remac all-wheel uh, torque vectoring brings unparalleled driving dynamics and usability. So all that to say, here's a simple side-by-side -side comparison of the previous specs uh, versus the new uh, 2017 specs, the model year 2018. So they plan to deliver eight units of the million dollar hypercar uh, this year. The vehicle will be sold through Remax network uh, of authorized dealers. The company announced three new agreements. Uh, the New York based Manhattan Motor Cars uh, will sell the Concept One in the US. Pace Germany uh, will import the vehicle in Europe. And the Al Zaruni uh, group will cover the United Arab Emirates. Hopefully, like honestly, hopefully we see these cars being driven around and not bought just to be, you know, those garage queens. So those are your five Tesla topics for Tuesday, March 7th, 2017. For any questions, remarks, or even criticism, I encourage you to follow the show's Instagram and Twitter pages at 10 Tesla Topics. That's T-E-N-T-E-S-L-A-T-O-P-I-C-S. If you wish, you can also send me an email at 10 topics at gmail.com. That's T-E-N-T-E-S-L-A-T-O-P-I-C-S at gmail.com. But the easiest way uh, would, of course, to just be subscribed uh, right here on YouTube to never miss an episode, uh, as well as comment. Uh, I'll be sure to answer all your comments. But we'll see you right here next Saturday for the next show. Thank you for listening. And of course, have yourself a model excellent day.